Really, man, it's been a whole bunch of shit going on, but your man's came out the closet. <laughs> you, you talking about Joe? Yeah. Like, was, like, was, was, do, you, do you think he being for real, or, or, or was was that trolling? I think it was a. I think it was a. Um, it was a clip. It was a clip from um, from from one of the episodes that, that was just. Edited a with crazy no, with way? no context. Oh, think, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. That makes most sense. I mean, that's my that's my uh, assessment of it. I haven't, I didn't, I haven't spoken to him. But <laughs> <laughs> I didn't call him like, "Yo, what up, man? You gay?" <laughs> you know, like I, I just, I just assume. Yeah, because you know. I, I mean, that's what I thought. Then I, I'm listening to the next episode. He's like, "Yeah, so, you know, since I came out last episode or whatever, and then you know the co-host like, we just gonna skip over that. You feel me? They ain't want to die more into it. So I'm like, oh." Shit, did he really come out the closet or is he playing? You know, but uh, man, we, know, we, we we leave that there, man. It, it seemed it seemed like it seemed like uh like like Cricket out wanted want, want, want to do some more some more slaughterhouse music. Is is he is he the only one? I remember hearing a clip. He like, man, all it's gonna take for us to all all go lock in and have it. We can we can get it done. So I mean, what's 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 really stopping that? Um, well, making the music is never the problem. Okay. You know, we we all we all always want to make music. Um, I think it's just from a from a business standpoint. It, it's just hard. It's it's hard to do. It's hard to do deals when you got to combine. Imagine you, no jumper, say cheese, and world star all had to come together <laughs> and do and do everything as one functioning body. Yeah, you know, like yeah. it, it, it would just be tough. It'd be tough because everybody got their own business tactics. You know, um, everybody got their own way that they feel comfortable moving, and it's tough, man. And then also being signed to Shady, you know. And then um, when it, when the shit happened with Joe and Marshall and then Paul, Paul, the, Paul got mad at Joe. And then, you know, next thing you know, the album not coming out, you know what I'm saying? So now we are off of Shady and we can go um, pretty much do, do the shit however we want to do it. Right? If we choose to do it independent, you know, we can put the money up ourselves or we could go do a situation somewhere. It's there if we, if we choose to, you know, it's just about, um, picking the right time where everybody is ready ready to go you know what i mean like joe <clears throat> joe is obviously focused on his his show you know um i'm focused on figuring out what to get, what to get focused on you know what i mean like i'm i'm super distracted you know with everything going on in the world i'm doing a lot of community stuff uh but i'm here in the studio I'll spend more time here than I spend at home. So they can fly here whenever whenever. You know, my my only ask is that um everybody be focused and ready. And ready to go and ready to just focus on the music and focus on the group. Because when we came together in the beginning, you know, we all had one goal, one agenda. You know, all of us had the same goal and agenda. You know what I mean? Like it it evolved into something bigger than we even was even thinking about. We we wasn't even thinking about it like that. You know what I mean? So once it started becoming like really, really successful, um, you know, a lot of our motives started to d defer a little bit. Like Joe started doing reality TV, you know what I mean? Um, Joel, Joel, Joel has, Joel had a falling out with one of the, Joel had a falling out with one of the managers of Slaughterhouse who was, who he was partners with when, when, when they work, just them, independent of the group, outside of the group. See, what we did was we brought all of our team into one thing. So you got Joe's manager, my manager, and Joel's manager all working together to manage the group. You know, so imagine Joel, the height of Slaughterhouse, Joel and his manager falls out with each other. You know what I mean? 
And <laughs> and then next thing you know, he's the A and R at Shady Records. So he's still in the studio with us, but they not speaking to each other. Right? Super awkward. And then and then Joe, the whole time we've been doing Slaughterhouse, um, I've always had it my way in the sense of I, I like to record at night. I'm a nighttime guy, especially back when I was a drunk. Joe don't like recording at night. He like recording in the day. So Joe was like, shit, um, we ain't doing this nighttime shit no more. Like, we've been doing that all this time. I'm, I'm recording during the day. So Joe would come in during the day, record. Him and Joel would come in and record during the day. And then me and Crook would come in at night as they're leaving and then record all night. And this is when I first got sober, but Crook was still drinking. So I'm just getting acclimated to being sober. And Crook is in full drunkard mode. And Joe is saying, Joe is doing reality TV and going to the strip club. And Joel is basically coming in with verses that he wrote at home and bouncing. That's that's where we were when we recorded when we were recording the last album. Damn. So it's like y'all didn't even get to jail. Like everybody was kind of on their own agenda. Yeah, everybody just got on a different page. Yeah. But see, and that that just goes to show what I learned from that was it's it's, it's very easy for us to do music. We don't even really need to be on the same page to do the music. But in order for everything to work we got to be clicking on all cylinders across the board you know because it's 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 more that goes into it than just the music you know scaling a brand you know what i mean so it's cool man that's where you at right now i feel that 